hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and in today's video i'll be showing you how i achieved this bougondry color from a natural black colored egg so please ensure that you are subscribed to this channel give this video a thumbs up and thank you so this is what the air was looking like it's a 2x4 closure and i went on to bleach bath so i'll be doing a bleach bath first before um coloring the air and i'm using this olive oil dye it's blue in color and for the dye i'll be adding sorry for the bleach i'll be adding more of the developer compared to the bleach powder that's because we are not actually trying to bleach this air we just want to leave the color a bit so it can take in the new color that we'll be adding so i'll be adding more of the developer i'm using a 12 percent for um i'm using a 12 percent 40 volume developer for this and that is it After mixing thoroughly, I went on to add warm water to the bleach. So the warm water and the bleach mixture is going to make up the bleach bath solution. Don't forget to stir the mixture properly before going ahead to add your air to the solution. I'm actually using something this small for my bleach bath. That's because I'm only trying to color a 2x4 closure. If I was trying to color like uh, a whole wig, then I'll be using something big. So I added more water because the mixture was just too thick and I needed the closure to really sit inside this. So once I'm done with this, I'm going to cover it up with a plastic bag and then I'm going to leave it in for 30 minutes. So this is the bleach powder that I'm using. So 30 minutes later, this is what the air is looking like. I'm going to go on to properly rinse it wash it with a neutralizing shampoo and then i will um and then i will condition the air so this is what the air is looking like after all the bleach has been taken out and then this is what it's looking like after it has been properly washed and conditioned so for this um video I won't be coloring the air using the watercolor method. I'll be applying the dye with a brush directly on the air. After which, I'll put it in a waterproof um, bag and then I'll um, leave it in hot water for some time before washing the air again. So, please, when you are doing this, um, please wear clothes so i didn't wear any that was because when i was doing the patch test before i even went on to bleach like i already stained my hand and then before doing this one i just kind of forgot so that's why my hands is looking so messy but if you wouldn't mind then probably you can go on without gloves and this is what it's looking like after i'm done i'm just going to put it in a waterproof nylon and then i'll leave it in hot water for about 15 to 20 minutes please always do a patch test before before bleaching your hair or before coloring your hair please always do a patch test to avoid problems so 
this is it i went on and i put the waterproof nylon containing the air inside this hot water so i'm going to leave it for about 15 to 20 minutes before washing it and conditioning it again so i'm taking it out of the waterproof nylon here and then i'll wash and condition it and then please watch out for the end result please if you stay to this time give this video a thumbs up and in case you have any questions you can go on to ask and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and then this is the end result this is what the closure was looking like the next day when it was all fully dried so it came out nice thanks and i'll see you again in another video